Welcome to Customizing BricsCAD. My name is Ralph Grabowski, and it's my pleasure to show you how to make BricsCAD work the way you work. Today we're going to do some advanced uh, menu customization. We're going to look at meta characters, and those are the, uh, the special characters that control how menus look when you see them on the screen. So we're going to go into the Tools, Customize item on the menu, and uh, here's the Customize dialog box, the uh, Menus tab, and I'm going to open up File and just click on the first item here, New. Now we're going to jump down here, and these are all the things that define the menu item, how it looks and how it works. The very first thing you see here in the title field is the ampersand, the and symbol. It prefixes the letter N. And what it does is it creates an alt key accelerator. Now what the heck is that? Well, let me jump out of this dialog box and show you what I mean by that. Up here we have the uh, file, edit, and so on items on the menu bar. Now if I hold down the alt key, notice what happens. The F is underlined, the E is underlined. Now if I press the F on the keyboard, the file menu drops down and you notice the N in new is underlined as, the, as well as the Z in new wizard. Now if I press the N key it jumps to new and I can press enter to execute it. It's a way of uh, using BricsCAD without a mouse. So back here in the customized dialog box we see that the ampersand's in front of the N and if we go to the next one new wizard you see that the ampersand is in front of the Z underlining it and turning it into an alt key accelerator. The important thing of course is not to have the same uh, letter behind an alt key in uh, one particular menu and we see that mistake here under new sheet set it has it and uh, so that can lead to some confusion. Make sure you don't do that when you're creating your own accelerators. In the title field there is one other meta character and that's those three dots. Now unlike the alt key accelerators they don't actually do anything. They just signal the user that if they choose this command they will see a dialog box like this. File, New, notice the three dots, click and there's the dialog box. The next field is called Diesel. And it has nothing to do with engines or fuel, but a obscure programming language invented many years ago to uh, customize the status bar of another CAD package. But uh, today it gets used to handle logical questions in, uh, in menu items and toolbars macros. I'm going to show you an example here with uh, the command bar menu item. And you can see there's a bunch of code that starts with a dollar sign and a parenthesis and that's a signal that diesel code is occurring in this case it's uh, checking the value of the CLI state system variable which is the command line interface and if it's on turns it off if it's off turns it on and you can see the code embedded down here in the command field the subject of diesel is far too complex for this video uh, I'll refer you to the customizing BricsCAD ebook if you want to get the details on that The third field is perhaps the easiest one of all to deal with. In short, you don't touch it. In fact, you can't touch it. I'm going to try erasing, pressing the backspace key. Nothing happens. That's because BricsCAD assigns the tool ID. It, that's how it knows which uh, command you're working with. The fourth field is labeled help and uh, it displays text that gets uh, displayed on the status line. So I'm going to uh, exit out of this dialog box and uh, show you how it works. Now when I go to the file menu and, and pause the cursor over new, you can see down here on the status bar that it displays that line of help. You're free to edit this text and I'll do that right now. Let me just uh, say create a brand new drawing and then that'll appear instead, like that. The command field is where all the action takes place, and that's where the actual command gets uh, specified that will be executed when you choose the menu item. Just about every one begins with caret C, caret C. The caret is that little uh, hat symbol, and uh, to 
together with the C, it's a meta character that tells Brixcat to cancel any existing command. Two in a row ensures that uh, ones that are two levels deep will get cancelled. Next to that is an underscore. The underscore internationalizes the new command. And, and what that means is that if you're using uh, this macro in, uh, say, the Yugoslavian version of uh, Brixcad, then the Yugoslavian version will understand the English word new that's supposed to start a new drawing. There's other meta characters too, and uh, once again, I recommend you check up the Customizing Brixcad ebook to learn all about them. The final parameter is, is called image, and it defines the picture that gets used to the icon that appears next to the menu item. Now in menu files, uh, icons do nothing, they're just there as a pictorial representation. However, you can change them, and if you click on this triple button thing, uh, you'll see all the ones that are, that are built in, plus uh, you can specify your own uh, image files if you want to create your own, or none at all. It's best to leave them alone because it can be a lot of work coming up with your own images for BricsCAD's commands. This is more meant for if you're a third-party developer and need to create icons that match your custom commands. I trust you enjoyed learning how to make BricsCAD work the way you work. For more on customizing BricsCAD, check out the ebook. Download the free trial version of BricsCAD at www.brixis.com and check it out for yourself.